You group of worthless, no good rim rims, welcome to. <coughs> oh, sorry, hang on, I forgot to do the English voice for this channel. Hello, welcome back, everybody, to uh, to Rimworld, of course, featuring John Martinez Burger, but Marge and Kirkland, who needs renaming because Kirkland is a terrible name. No offense to anybody called Kirkland watching. As a reminder, brief reminder, we are still pre-recording content yesterday and today only then we're back to regular schedule leave comments as per usual not because my channel will suffer if you don't <laughs> never uh but simply because i will keep going through the comments when i get five minutes every now and again and i'll put them all in a big list and then i can sit here uh tomorrow and i assume either mock you laugh at you or pretend i did something right when in fact i did it very very wrong today on rimworld cold hard drugs that's right we're gonna fund this museum the only way i know how people fund collections of exotic animals and that's by peddling a lot of drugs to a lot of people so during yesterday's episode a fox and a stegosaurus researched the secrets of refining psychoid into yayo and then today we're going to ride on one of those very same animals and sell it to fund hopefully some deep drills that is kind of the goal i would love to actually get the the hotel done today i know yesterday I the, the goal was originally um fried fried nights at freddy's that was it freddy burger himself our cook starting a restaurant for people to come and visit of course using orion's gastronomy uh i thought before we do that let's actually get some of our guests to stay first we haven't got anything to serve in the restaurant it's a lot easier to build a bed and have them be nuzzled by our um uh, arc of animals at this point i think is the correct collective noun given that with what we've got going on here than it is to uh, you know source a whole bunch of meals and set up a bunch of fries for burger whoa whoa whoa, whoa. what do you mean mute Contagion. Uh, one of your colonists has gotten sick from fox fever. Burger? What does that mean? He's going to start turning into a fox now, eh? Uh, this pawn has contracted a mutagenic disease that makes them feel much more foxy. Foxy boxes. Uh, okay. I mean, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> it's to make sure you have a stabilizer to hand. Brother, we've barely even got electricity at this point. I guess now we wait for... We trade caravan out and see if we can buy a stabilizer, I suppose. Uh, have we got we've got 866 silver? We wait for a trade caravan or trade ship. There are specifically um, a, a kind of mutagenic trade caravans. I, I hope we can find that soon. Can we just tend to it regularly? I mean, we can and we have. Maybe if the immunity uh, supersedes the actual fox fever itself, he won't turn into a fox. Alternatively, if he does turn into a fox, I don't think there's such a problem with that, given that a fox quite literally uncovered the secret of cold, hard drugs for the colony. Crank up bed rest, then. I had a lot lower priority, given that we have, you know, one person for taming, one person for researching, one person for building and cooking, whatever. Uh, trying to... Uh, having, having kind of top-tier bed rest isn't a luxury we can afford right now. It is, however, a luxury we can afford if the alternative is him becoming a fox. <laughs> I'm sorry that I keep laughing at the Stegosaurus doing very mundane things. Uh, counterpoint, it's a fucking Stegosaurus doing mundane things. He's building furniture, for God's sake. Ah, here we go. SJ Industries. John, buy me a stabilizer. Buy me a stabilizer, for God's sake, and hurry up about it. We've got Bantam Guar. I'm not even sure why I know what a Bantam Guar is. Uh, a Guar, if a Guar was more like a chicken, it isn't actually a Guar, it's more closely related to the Scuttler. Uh, why well, this creature's name is such, it's only known to the oldest members of Great House Telvani. I don't know what you are, but apparently they lay eggs. So that could be kind of handy to have around. Uh, more importantly, though, you got any of those stabilizers? Well, they don't have a stabilizer, but we could turn them into an iguana instead. They do have steel. Okay, okay, steel and... Th we don't need components, because I know it's at the top left of the map. There's a whole massive seam of components. Uh, what I will do then is sell off some of this crap just to be able to afford it. I was told keep the crate dragon leather because for its market value, yeah, I mean, look at that. For its market value, it's actually very, very, very powerful. It's not very good insulation against cold and heat, but in terms of armor, it's actually insane. So we'll hang on to that one. We'll probably sell more or less everything else. Uh, I want to keep enough of, say, like a one particular one that we've got a lot of, so heavy fur here for building things. You know, you never know when we might need some sort of furniture. Everything else, though, can go as far as I'm concerned. We've got two advanced components. I can't turn that down. Ideally, I want to make some money from them, though, as well, rather than just... Oh, we could sell some cloth. We've got shitloads of that. Uh, 659 of the cloth as well. To be honest, we could sell, like, a 1,000. That still leaves us with a 1,000 cloth. And then if we also sell... Oh, come on, surely we got something. We do have a lot of wood, and there's plenty more to get if we need it. I'll sell... Uh, what do you think? 9114? 
Uh, sorry, 914 of wood. That'll do it. That gives us a good chunk of cash to play around with as well. We've got enough for the fabrication bench now. I think that would be a good play early on because we are going to need a lot of components for all of the various animal things we've got. Not only the bionics, if we do want to start outfitting our animals with bionics, which is a possibility here. The bio tanks, uh, sorry, the uh, whatever they're called now. I actually don't remember in hindsight. Um... You know, the big vats that we keep animals in for storage. Those are going to be essential as we continue to progress on through the gameplay. Simply because... Oh, what do we need? Oh, we haven't built the Marcianalyzer yet. Genius. Uh, simply because the game will get laggier the more animals that we've gotten, right? So we do need to eventually start storing some in the bioreactors. That's going to require a lot of components. So the sooner we can do that, the better. Because I'd hate to have to slaughter animals just to keep the game speedy. That's, that's not an option here. Up here somewhere... Yeah, there we go. I thought I saw this. Let's get all of those components as well how much steel do we end up buying in the end let's also make sure that's hauled urgently so that bloody dragon doesn't come up here and eat it all even after the multi-analyzer has been built by this giant fox we've still got 510 steel left that's incredible so that's not only enough to build our our ground penetrating scanner from what i recall but we should have enough for the fab for the uh, fabrication bench as well i think so anyway either way the ground penetrating scanner definitely takes top priority oh you need an advanced component for that don't you Oh, uh, I didn't think that through. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. We still got an advanced component spare, so we can always uh, we can always get another. What do I want to sacrifice? I guess I'll sacrifice the peas to make that as convenient as possible. I don't know why the animals are sticking to these kind of side paths very narrowly, given that I've given them a massive area to to roam in. It's just like they don't really care. I suppose what reason have they got to roam outside of that if they can get food? Like right here. The new and improved killbox 2.0 is done. Let's not call it killbox because it's really not optimized for that at all. It's a way to slow down enemies to allow us to actually get some mild advantage there. So we've got the uh, the, the choke vines and the sandbags, which I haven't tested yet, but should be that should be sufficient at this point to allow our people to get up from mostly this area, of course, and, and get over there before they manage to get through. If we do need to extend it, we can. We can just put down you know, kind of walls like this. And I'll, I'll actually plan that out preemptively just to save us a little time as and when we may actually need to do this. There you go. If we do something like that, then we can drive them. Oh, I should have done that the other way around. There you go. So we can remove this wall, have them enter through here. If we put another brick across there, have them enter through here, come down up, and then obviously rinse and repeat until they get through here. Then we can have them run across there. Only this section then becomes dead, about eight blocks or nine blocks. So that's really not a loss, and it will add... I mean, well over double the travel time we've got right now, if it's necessary. I'm not going to do it preemptively. Let's do a quick animal check then. We did have a look at the end of yesterday briefly, but since then I have rebooted the game. I don't know if that's uh, affected the spawns at all. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, Nothing particularly relevant. Bear in mind, the shadow charges are those big rams that we've seen before. Uh, outside of that, though, everything's pretty standard. Ah, there it is. Outstanding move there, Marge. So I've set up the scan job because, of course, I have. This should be common sense, but just to explain it, uh, I have also set up the scan job for the foxes and Bert the Stegosaurus there. So if they've got any downtime, they can get on this and try and find us some steel, hopefully. Next big thing we've got to deal with. Bear in mind, we're going to need an insane amount of hydroponics to feed as many animals as I'm hoping eventually we'll get. What we're going to need, if we are planning on doing that, is probably the nuclear power from... Uh, Vanilla expanded. Oh, we could go... We could go, like, green energy with it. We could go, like, big old solar panel fields. We've got enough room to make that work. We could go uh, a combination of wind and solar. That'd be quite good. Oh, you know what we should get? Shock horror. We should probably get batteries or not. Uh, Batteries? Why did battery not show it up, but batteries did? <laughs> Great dragon. Excuse me, this is a lab. This is not for animals, unless those animals can research. Uh, get out of here. I haven't really talked about it, but we are training each individual animal as well to hopefully haul. So a lot of them, as you can see, have already have already been trained up. Some of them are still getting there. Now, we haven't got, like I said, androids or hauling bots or anything like that this time. I'm relying entirely always on the animals. A lot of people recommended a couple of episodes back to the Kill For Me mod, which is a mod I don't have a huge amount of experience with. I think I've thrown it in. Although, if I had thrown it in, you'd assume there would be something on the animal screen. So, maybe I forgot to add it in the end. I plan on adding it either way. Um, but I'll get that added in when combat becomes a little bit more impactful than just a bunch of naked men turning up. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't heard more from the uh, Psychic Emancipation taming... Accord or whatever it was I called them. What are they? They're the uh oh they're these guys up here. They're not like too far away. That would be pretty that last There's no limit on where they can raid us from. We just haven't haven't seen them yet. Ah, speaking of which, hang on. Uh, Shuttle of the Fallen Sovereignty is taking damage and seeking a place to land. 
S. Nicole wants to land at Jurassic Park. Of course you do. Norse people from the Bison Clan will attack the crash shuttle. So last time I did this, it was the easiest thing I think I've ever seen. We'll take the eight honor and we'll give it to Marge. A throne room for Marge. Got anything else here? Palatina's forced weather. Uh, they want to send us... Weather control system will force the weather to be foggy snow for 9.6 days. Uh, expires in five days. Well, look, if we hold out those five more days, it goes to winter anyway. So I couldn't really care at that point. Well, so it wouldn't be quite winter yet, but we're, we're getting there, aren't we? What's our growing time, actually? We might already be beyond it. Uh, let's take a look at our terrain. The 11th of September is when the growing time ends anyway. Oh. Okay, well, if we hold out to the 11th of September, we, we can just call in that foggy snow and we get no real downside, ultimately. with that bloody shuttle crash? Come down here. It doesn't really matter where the Vikings spawn in. We're going to be able to handle them whichever side. Actually, let's hang around the base then, and that way we're kind of equidistant to all of these different... We've got, like, a real variety, haven't we? You're, like, a proper kind of um, a security checkpoint, for lack of a better word, on that one. What the hell is a draconic goods trader? The assistant export company. John, go home. You're, you're, you're free from Viking hunting duties for a second. What have you got? You got, like, dragon eggs? You got dragon leathers. Dragon's blood. They do have dragon eggs. Holy shit, they're 12,000 apiece. Blue nebula dragon. Oh, that would be so good. Oh, but hang on. You have to build an incubator, don't you? For dragon eggs. You, you can't just leave them on the floor to, uh, to hatch. What does this do? A one-use artifact used to attract any dragon. Works the same way as a mating horn. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, unlike the mating horn, it can summon tamed dragons as long as it's used on tamed and not wild dragons. What does that mean? Used to attract any kind of dragon. Works the same way as a mating horn. However, unlike the mating horn, it can summon tamed dragons as long as it's used on tamed and not a wild dragon. So what, it calls them over to you. Is that what that's trying to imply? I don't really understand what that, that, that means. Uh... We might be able to stretch to the black dragon egg. We almost certainly cannot afford the blue. What if we sold everything? What, what if we quite genuinely sold literally everything? All these things I've been saving up. Uh, we still do not even scratch the surface. Okay, never mind. What about you? We could afford that if we sold everything. I don't think that's the right play to make right now, but... Actually, oh, shit. What do we lose, though? A few components, advanced components we can't do anything with anyway. Gold? <laughs> We can always get more components, and there's nothing we can't do. Uh, there's nothing we can do with a single advanced components. And for the most part, we're probably going to be able to buy components, uh, advanced components in, in groups of two anyway. Oh, it can hatch. Maybe the Draconic Incubator just makes them hatch faster. Um, well, then we might as well get rid of Fabrication, because we can't build the Fabrication Bench. Let's go Incubator. Uh, draconic Incubation. Draconic Advanced Incubation. I assume if we queue one up. There you go. We get both anyway. Okay. That could be massive. We'll have to defend it while it's uh, obviously uh, an infant. Oh, was that it? You sent two psychic Vikings after me. What have you got? Chunk skip, and you've got Trout Slayer. <laughs> well, let's hope it's Trout Slayer and not Trout Slayer. Otherwise, that's uh, a bit of a fishy situation. Burn level one. Okay. Well, there's nothing to worry about quite yet. I believe the way it works is as the enemies get stronger, as you get more raid points, higher tier Vikings, whatever... Then they come in with higher level psychasts as well. That's when you'll get your um I shot the kidney out and it literally didn't even It didn't even phase him. He's still moving as if nothing's wrong. That's just ridiculous. So the way it works, I think, is 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 that anyway. But you wanna you wanna come down here, pal? We got Vikings to kill, and a stegosaurus probably would help out quite significantly with that. Uh let's keep keep moving here. People are getting angry at me for putting down multiple orders. I can't help it, okay? I can't help it. I've played too many RTS. It's just muscle memory, you know? We need attack move in RimWorld. That's what we need. Uh, get out of there. Look behind you, a three-headed snail. Did it work? To be fair, we probably could have left that alone because they had four of them in total. And uh, the the Praetor has a laser sword and a bio-coded Zeus hammer. I feel like that was very unnecessary. And a zoological trader. Wait, are they... Uh, oh, the zoological trader, not a caravan genius. I have played RimWorld before, I promise with you. Uh, let's take a peek. Maybe we can sell something else to these guys that we couldn't sell before. Um, what have you guys got? Oh, that's a dragon trader. Ooh. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> what have you got for me? Oh, wow. Okay. We can sell some of our spare animals and buy other animals. Uh, what have they got? Banthers, a housekeeper cat, 
Tetra Slugs. Tetra Slugs are some of the highest tier animals on the list as well. 24 points. Oh, hang on. Base value is 4,000. 40 points. That's massive. Um, do we maybe want to sell one of our duplicate animals? We could sell one of the hot burbles. Let's sell this one. And then let's sell... Have we got any other duplicates? I mean, boomalopes are useful to have. Same with the neutralopes, of course. Uh, we could sell one of these storm cutters. Don't really need two. We sell two of those. Oh, don't sell Jock Excellente, you fool. We can sell both of those and trade it for the housekeeper cat. We can't quite afford it. I can always sell something else. That's okay. Um, here, take these scales and take... Oh, shit. Uh, I'll have to sell some Neutramine, but it's probably worth it. All right, there we go. Boom. A little bit more, little bit more zoo score. And these shuttle crash missions are so good, aren't they? We just don't have to do anything. There you go. Marge is an acolyte, and she barely had to lift a finger. <laughs> what a misuse of that dragon. Wow. Just using it to hold chunks back, eh? Very quietly, my side goal for today is 500 points. If we can break 500 points for the zoo today, that'd be fantastic. Yesterday, we over doubled the points from the, the starting point of the episode. That's not going to happen today. We're not going to get over 700 points, I don't think. Unless we end up with something massive. Obviously, the black dragon egg is going to be huge. During that time, we could get all sorts of strange things happen. I wouldn't want to bank on it. You never know. One of these animals could, could eat the bloody thing. Conic advanced incubation. Now, what can we do with that? Let's take a peek. Uh, Dragon Deco. Uh, is it just... Could be animals? Uh, maybe even uh, husbandry? Miscellaneous? Ah, here we go. Basic incubator and advanced incubator. That's 12 components. Uh, I don't have that. Allows the egg to grow 50% faster than normal. Right? And then basic incubator is 30% faster. We can put out a ruby. That's pretty high tier. Uh, well, look. We can definitely do this. That's, that's, that's an easy trade. Burger seems like you could be fine. It's actually quite a hard disease to beat then. There's only 7%, 8% in the uh, in the immunity. Then we set that up as a job to load Dragon Egg. And I assume this would keep it safe as well. Uh, we're going to do hauling refining. John, if you could uh, load some eggs into that. I assume if we don't keep it topped up, though, it could potentially die. Then again, it did also sit on a cold floor. So maybe that's not entirely the case. I'm also going to take away the passive coolers. Because I have a feeling by next summer, we can probably just get permanent heaters... Uh, and cooler set up instead. Cheaper not locked. I wish this was Ikea. Construction disassemble a tell of 100 structures. I mean, the Stegosaurus has got that covered. Don't you worry. Oh, don't forget, we can use the achievements to buy bonuses. So we could buy a, a man in black, a whole new colonist. We could buy a random quest item. I wonder how random that can truly be. Whether or not we could get something, you know, really, really nice. I don't know, like a vanimetric power cell up right now certainly wouldn't hurt. Or whether or not it could be... Something kind of mediocre, like just getting a Persona Mono Sword, although it sounds cool on the surface, would be would be pretty pointless. Especially when you consider we can get random animal pods. And bees. We get bees in drop pods. That sounds incredibly dangerous. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. Burger is at risk of fully changing soon, but he's developed an immunity, so I assume when this disappears, he will stop transforming. I bloody hope that's the case. Um, he's got fur on his head. Did did jitterades, which is just a, a big a big finger leg. That's okay. I assume he'll run a little bit faster with that when it's uh when he's actually comfortable with it. Broad feet, thin fur on his hand and padded. Is that gonna make it? Is that gonna make it a lot harder to work with manipulation? What the hell happened? Oh, it's hail. Oh oh. Right, I see. Well, I mean, I'm kind of surprised the game is running this well, seeing as we've got 28 animals all being pounded by hail. <laughs> wow, this is this is very silly. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. What else have we got in here? Uh, extracting trimming from spider snake shed skin. So crossbreed there. We'll find hormone medicine from triple strike venom. Or, alternatively, could just make a shitload of yayo, couldn't we? <gasps> <laughs> John attempted to collar Fowler. Fowler accepted to join John's community. Uh, that's right, Mothman. Welcome, Mothman. You'll go well with... Oh, please tell me we can give the Mothman a gun. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> it's like a freaking Dark Souls boss. Okay, then, Mothman, what are you good at? Not a lot on account of not having arms. I should have really expected that. Um, You know what? I'm just going to put... A one in everything that won't conflict with someone else's job. Oh, shit. What can you do? Well, you can be a warden. That's about it. Oh, but will not do. 
So you actually really can do very, very, very little. Well then, I guess now is as good a time as any to take the forced weather quest. Of course, I'm going to take the honor on behalf of Large Marge herself. Marge's dame ceremony. Dame Large Marge. Oh, that's so good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is, 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 is now the time we start on the throne room? Throne room requirements. We need a meditation throw a minimum 30 tiles. Must have a room impressiveness of 60. Must be all floored. We must have a brazier, column, harp. Braziers must be lit. No work facilities allowed. No beds allowed. All hearths must be lit. Right, so in that case, the only thing we really need to grab then is harp. Uh, a harp. No, no, not skin hardening. That seems like a very easy thing to get confused. Oh, harp, you said, Marge. Sorry about the stone skin gland. I didn't realize. Uh, I'll be honest, Marge doesn't back down from a fight. But this one, given that our strongest weapon right now is a revolver, I think it's not really in the spirit of things. They want us to look after a prisoner for 24 days who has blood rot. So we'd have to keep on top of our medical supplies. Not only that, they want to send two raids of strength two times and roughly this size. Uh, consisting of 11 lancers and three pipemen apiece. We got five janissaries, which is fine. Honestly, the janissaries could probably deal with that by themselves. It's just too much to try and handle whilst also peddling drugs and looking after this many animals. But cannot prioritize. We'll never do drugs. Ah, oh, but straight edge. Are these foxes? You know they'll do it. Yeah, I thought they would. <laughs> Absolutely. 10 out of 10. Thank you, little fox. Thank you. The trade corn and the drugs that the fox has made so far for steel. That's the whole reason we're doing all of this, right? So, 380. Thank you. Then when we get some scanning done, we've now got the funds to be able to make our deep drills, seeing as we only had, <laughs> we only had 80 before. How are we doing four components? Eight. Ah, yeah. oh, Terramorph. Hey. Oh, that thing looks quite cool. That pushes us over 400 points. I don't think we're going to hit 500 today. Not unless something massive turns up. Well, I mean, a grizzly bear does. I would I would say that's fairly massive. Uh, there's nothing else really of interest. We get those Magyarosauruses. Other than that, though, oh, I mean, why not? Why not? They're here. No, if we got a smell, sir, not only could we get back a little bit of steel from steel slag that we've hauled in here, we could also make glass. And in turn, we could glass over this entire thing. And we could still keep the drugs trade going throughout all this snow. Uh, Marge, you good? Uh. <laughs> oh, Bantha wool undergarment. An undergarment for wearing under an imbued animal costume. Oh, man, that looks fucking strange. More importantly, we've got ourselves a hunting dragon. It's hunting a bunch of devil sheep ram. Oh, I wish you wouldn't. I would really like to tame all of those. So those things will spawn in, unsurprisingly, Devil Strand. Where's the dragon? Uh, I don't think it's here yet. Does it maybe follow them in in a minute? No, it's here. Rerulean dragon. Uh, hello. I don't know what you are. We, well, we've obviously seen in the Void series, but... Ah, there we go. Nice. I mean, shit, if we could tame you, 20% chance. Oh, wait, Zia. What the fuck is Zia? Oh my god, the bear was a person? Oh... <laughs> Ah, hello. Um, oh, shit. These animals, these sentient animals, it's too strong. See, the bear's also not capable of doing much. Ah, it's quite frustrating. My worry is they count as full-blown colonists, and by extent, the game is going to get so much harder. But we're not actually getting any benefit from them. Sure, we can give them guns. We really should actually craft some guns. Well, there's two devil sheep already. Jesus Christ, that was a fast turnaround. I'm really hoping this will join us, but I'm also very, very scared. This is going to backfire horribly. I mean, if it backfires over here, we've got all these other dragons to back us up. Oh, shit. Uh, other devil sheep nearby have also become enraged. Well, that's not ideal. Uh, that's quite a lot of devil sheep. Help me, create a dragon. Please swallow them whole. God, I really need some of those non-lethal turrets. Hang on. Uh, let's let them fight. Taser turrets. Non-lethal weapons. Let's make a, make a taser. No, no, no. Uh, maybe like a stun? Hmm. It's turret. Uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. Less lethal turrets. That's what we're after. <laughs> what a showdown. Right. Uh, let's go search and destroy range and melee, I suppose. Just get this shit over with. Please don't shoot. Oh, God. Please don't shoot. Okay. We're good. How's Martinius doing? I assume just a bunch of bruises. Uh, it's just a couple of thumbs. I think they're actually old. Yeah. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Shotguns might be good. Seeing as we are... Oh, my God. We can make armor for our animals. Uh, shotguns might be good on account of us being... 
Oh, man. I mean, we could go sawn off. We're going to be immediately attacked by animals, aren't we? Oh, we can make armor for the... For the frilliest. We've only got one of those, haven't we? Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Let's make a few of those, seeing as there's always animals attacking us. That would make sense, given that they're going to be immediately within range. 100 steel well spent. Here we... Oh, wait. Hypothermia. Oh, shit, because Marge hasn't got any bloody clothes on. Marge, go inside, for God's sake. There you go. Martinis the Master Blacksmith throwing together some frillius armor there. I don't know how exactly we equip it to the to the frillius. Uh, I assume I'd have to give it... Where is it? There you are. Uh, can I just say equip? Um, I have to equip weapons. Right, gear. Uh, a sign, and then... No, no, no. Animals. Outfit. Here we go. Ah! Oh, I just went and put it on. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Hey, that's really, really nice. Ideally, we want to get one of those for all of our animals, right? Um, cat of prey, cat armor, wag armor. Can we get something for... Hang on. Uh, let's go animal gear? Animal armor? No? You might make it at the... Uh, I guess it would make more sense if you made it at the smithy rather than the machining table. Oh, God. I really can't afford this much. <laughs> I really can't afford to be wasting this much steel on clothes for our animals. Oh, the glass. The glass. Right. Okay, so we're going to have to move the ground penetrating scanner. Um, I'm not best placed to move it out of here where it's a bit more vulnerable, but that's okay. Um, well, let's move that one and we'll just pop it there that we can defend it kind of fast if things do go down. Now, the other bonus is we've already got a natural heat source, so that being our geothermal generator. So all we've got to do is put a roof over the bloody thing and put the uh, skylights down and we're, and we're good. Oh, shit. Okay, the dragon was about to hunt the Frillius. The Frillius shot at the dragon. Oh, fuck no. The second I saw it happening, I moved them into the emergency area, but that was not fast enough. Oh, fuck. Oh, my zoo. My friggin' zoo. Get them indoors. It's blown a hole in the wall. It's blown a fucking hole in the wall. Oh, you son of a bitch. These fucking dragons. Oh, just... Oh, shit. This is... This is a nightmare. We're going to get shut down. We're never... We're gonna, we are never going to financially recover from this. I... I... What was that? What am I supposed... It's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. Fight the fire. Fight the fire. Fight the fire. Should we just kill it? Should we just kill it? We can build a cage. We can build a cage. We can build a cage. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, animal cage. We've got anything to build it out of. We don't have enough steel. We don't have anything. Oh, fuck. Um. Piss. Um. We... Gold, silver. We got enough silver. 6,000 silver. Oh, balls. Do you think a medium animal cage would hold it? Uh. Literally, yes. Possibly. Probably. Maybe. Even. All right, large Marge, throw it down there. Oh, Jesus. What did we lose in the end, then? I don't think we'll lose anything else. We lost uh, two Boomalopes, both Neutralopes, three Devil Sheep, the Terramorph. If that was all, that wasn't too bad. Lots of things in intended. We could still lose a lot to infections here. But that could have been far, far, far worse. Oh, damn it. Looks like we can't even fit it in here. Oh, that's a shame. Well, look, we'll keep it because we'll we're probably want to capture other smaller animals. I guess we need the larger cage to make that work. Oh, what a pain. What a pain. Never mind. That's okay. Uh, can we, can we maybe get enough steel together? What if I start dismantling things? Um. Man, we can't take apart anything. We can take apart this bin. What? How much are those each? 90? That wouldn't really help out too much. We take this thing apart again. 225. Oh, I bet we can just about do it. Fuck! Just when I thought we were done with everything. Burger! P Marge is married, and now is also not an appropriate time. Fuck! We're tending to them as fast as possible. It's just not going to happen. That's two bonded animals that have died on us as well. Oh, no. And now the ancient elders have turned up. They've heard of our animal cruelty. Is it just one of them? Oh, it's not just one of them. Oh, it's not just one of them at all. Uh, what have you got then? Let's take a peek here. We've got Word of Trust. Solar Pinhole, Word of Trust. So we've got one stun, Word of Trust, one burden. So one stun, one burden. Uh, 
Really, that's it. Okay, so they haven't got too many combat abilities. Now is really not when we needed this. Try and deal with the ones at the bottom first. Now, luckily, they've only got tribal melee weapons to start off with. I didn't even craft any of the bloody guns yet, did we? Can I try and breathe fire? You want to breathe some fire there for me, Stormcutter? You want to breathe some fire there for me, fella? Go. Blast him. Wowie zowie. Blast him. That was pathetic. <laughs> that was absolutely god awful. Okay, start running. Start running. The dragon could probably do a little bit of damage here and there. There we go. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh my god. We got Martinis immediately. Don't steal what they can and leave. What the hell are they going for? They're going for his laser gun? There. There. Good. So it seems the enemy have forgotten what they call weapons at home. Please don't mock me. I don't have any weapons. Good, Martinius. All of this is still damage from the sheep from before. So he's okay. He's okay. Let's not worry about that. Okay, they're coming up this way. Oh, God. Yeah, go and fist fight my animals. That's a good idea. Oh, no. Not again. Stay away. Oh, Jesus. Well, they picked on the biggest animal in there to fight, so that's okay. Nice work. Nice work. Good shots there from the Stegosaurus. Headshot there from Burger. Come on. Come on. That's another one down. It's another one down. I think they've just pain blocked. They have almost certainly pain blocked. Uh, Magiosaurus 1 has extreme blood loss. I can't do anything about it right now. Did they fucking kill my... What did they kill? Oh, no, no, no. It killed, it killed him. That's, that's the restricted uh, body of the raider. Or what they dropped, at least. Okay. You are still pain blocked, I assume, because you are... <laughs> they're also anesthetized. <laughs> We've got Huckles coming in over there, but otherwise we're okay. Uh, Marge... Get yourself some new clothes, my friend. A silent helmet actually might come in handy. Take him down, Bert. Take him down. Nice. You're going to go stab a stegosaurus, really? Of all the things to fight, that seems pretty ill-advised. To lie there and watch as a large marge puts on your clothes. Wow, that's uh must be a one-size-fits-all type deal. Chaos. Chaos. My zoo has been decimated. I just cannot believe it. And, and like I said, I think we'll lose a lot more to blood loss and infections quite... Yeah, maybe even hypothermia. That's why I was trying to rush out getting this building done so we could at least uh, keep them covered here during the winter. It's okay. Today will be easy, they said. Today will be easy. We'll just peddle some drugs. We'll sell some drugs to people, get some steel, get infinite resources. We're gone. Game over. What I didn't know is half of my freaking zoo was going to be set on fire. So we've gone from 433. Please fuck off. 433 to 426. So we lost a lot of the duplicate animals. It looked a lot worse than the better moment we lost like three boomalopes, two neutralopes. Uh, those each gave like only a couple of points because obviously duplicates don't count. So it wasn't in terms of zoo score, not that bad in terms of our resources, horrible. Like really has going to, I mean, that alone has devastated all of our uh, chem fuel and it's going to have devastated our neutralium production for a long, long, long time. I'm, I'm sad about today. The, the bonded animal's death is going to gonna really, really hit everybody quite hard there. Bonded animal Pong died. Poor, poor Pong. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the fuck Pong was. Thank you for watching. Today has been a tragic episode. And as, as per usual, I've got to say thank you for bearing with me over the past few days while I pre-recorded all this content. I wasn't expecting to do it so, so soon, especially after the last one, but it turns out this was kind of scheduling conflicts, basically the only time we were both free. So it was, it was the only time I could, I could have guests at this particular stage. So I wasn't, wasn't expecting it. Again, thank you for bearing with me. It's, uh, it is much appreciated, but we should be good for the foreseeable future to kind of carry on regular schedule, regular content, try and get a few more episodes down on this channel and uh, the second channel as well. Thank you, in the meantime, to the executive producer tier patrons of the day, including dot, 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 but I'm homeless, Maximus Basilius, Udric, Lupus, Atomno and Conquer, Shade Slayer, Nick Danger, Zero, One, Three, Buen Gun, Jack Black Sheep, Psycho Fire, Krishenk, and Darthawk for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you to you guys for making this, this whole episode slightly less dangerous. Thank you as well to Shatner's Bassoon, <laughs> ben Ice Cream, Seppi141, Juniper Berry, Irish Batman, Mayor, Brennick, Pricks, Prince, Medixis, Gavin, Adam S, Astros the Great, Francesco R, and my sweaty Rim Rim. Ooh. 